my camera going and talk about your, your new role. It's out of the bullpen. How does that change you as a pitcher? Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, just coming out of the bullpen, I know I have to attack, attack the strike zone and uh, just really get ahead of hitters and try to have clean innings. And it's definitely a new mindset. Um, I'm not that used to it, but I've done it in the past, so I know what to look for. And uh, yeah, I definitely. I mean, it's. Just trying to do whatever to help the team right now. Just whatever they want me to do. Mentally, I mean, how do you deal with something like that? I mean, a lot of fans or people might say that's kind of a devotion. No, what was your reaction to it? No, uh, I just looked at it as a new opportunity. Uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. And uh, I just try to take every every time I get out on the mound as a new opportunity to, to get better and to better myself. And uh, I've made a couple adjustments with what I'm doing. And uh, I think the past couple of times it's, it's worked out pretty good, and um, so yeah, I'm just every time I get out there, I try to take advantage of my opportunity. What are some of those adjustments you made? Uh, just just keeping my front side going towards home plate a lot longer, because in the past I would open up too quick, and that, that's what will cause a lot of the arm side misses and uh, a lot of the walks. So I'm trying to correct that, and uh, I think the bullpens, you know, really help me out going shorter stints. So yeah, I think it's uh, truly really beneficial right now. What's what's been different about you the last couple of times, other than the mechanics? Is it, is it a mental thing too? Uh, not as much. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. My mind has never changed about about the game or you know what's what's happened or whatever. Nothing has changed. But yes, uh, I just try to go out and get guys out. John said you're really close. Do you agree with him? And what do you have to do to get to the next level? Yeah, for sure. I think I'm. You know, the things I'm doing right now is. Every time I go out, I feel like I'm getting better and better. So yeah, for sure. Uh, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, you know, I, I feel like I can help the team out in the long run. Was it big for you to get a couple of guys on on Tuesday night and then kind of get out of that inning and, and get out of that jam? Yeah, for sure. Anytime you can. Uh, I mean, of course, you never want guys to get on, but uh, anytime you get guys on and get out of a jam, it's it's very beneficial because I mean, when you get in tight spots later in the season, you know, you'll be ready for it. So. It just seemed to snowball for you too with those innings. It doesn't seem like they were consistently bad innings. It just would seem like one would just bite you. And on two, yeah. you kind of nip that. Yeah, that's that's true. That's kind of it happened to me earlier uh, during the season. But yeah, I'm trying to eliminate eliminate that, and uh, I think that's going to help me out in the long run. Was there a moment that just kind of clicked for you, mechanics wise, maybe? Um, I think you know, just working with Coach Thompson, it's it's a process. You can't just do something uh, one day and then just go out and expect for it to work. You know, you have to really work on stuff and. I think that's what um, I think you know, those two weeks, week and a half of me preparing, you know, to get back out on the mound and, and have a good outing or have a good couple innings is really big. When you don't have the start to the season that you everyone kind of envisioned for yeah. yourself, how do you stay mentally strong and bounce back? And yeah, um, I mean, I, it, it's frustrating, but I know uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I know in the long run, if I just keep doing what I'm doing and know what I can do, it, it's going to help the team out and. Uh, Help us out in the long run. What did your teammates kind of tell you after those first couple of starts? Uh, they they all have my backs. You know, they were like, "Don't worry about it. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna you're gonna figure it out." And uh, I think these past two two times I've I've got to throw, it's it's starting to click for me. And uh, I think yeah, like Coach Cohen said, it, it's it's gonna start turning the corner sooner or later for me. What was it like for you? Obviously, not pitching last year in Omaha, and then getting your opportunity this year and it didn't go how, how you Yeah, played. for sure. I mean, that was. That was a good experience just to be able to to go and, with the team and uh, watch all the games and uh, it was huge for me. It, it was tough at the same time because I wish I was out there, you know, helping helping the team. But I took that, you know, kind of as fuel to the fire for this year. And I know the first couple starts didn't go the way I wanted it to, but it, it's a process. So I mean, it didn't bother me at all. You know, I know what my team can do and and what they can do behind me so was there almost too much fuel on the fire you think that you're almost too excited to get back out there and uh maybe but i i mean it you just can't ever tell i yeah. mean the game of baseball is so weird but uh no i just I, I, obviously i was ready to get out there because i you know missed a lot of the right. season last year but no uh it, it didn't really have any effect on me cool. thanks Brad.